Hey everyone, what you just saw was a new tech called air surfing. As you can see, it allows you to do some pretty cool things, mainly fly through the air in ways that no one has. And I'm going to teach you how it's done. Oh yeah, and if you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Alright, let's get into it. This is what I'm calling an air surf. It is very similar to something called barrier surfing, which I'm going to explain right now. Barrier surfing has been around since Destiny 1, and was used to go far out of the bounds of the map. By pinching yourself into a pushback barrier like this one on the moon, you can ride the barrier up and around the map, and for the longest time, this was all you could really do with it, until now. Now we have air surfing, and to do this, you'll need to learn a few things. That being how to skate, what inputs to do to air surf, and what places you can air surf from. Let's start with how to skate. Most of you can probably well or shatter skate, but for this, strand skating is the best. See, strand skating keeps you on the ground. It almost magnetizes you to the floor. This allows you to air surf off of almost any slight incline, like in this clip here. Here's a quick explanation on how to strand skate. Stand on the top of any downward angled slope. Do not move, take out your sword, heavy, and dive, and that's it. It's just two inputs, and of course you can jump after that for a normal skate. Performing the air surf is pretty much the same thing, except where you're aiming the skates and the inputs that you do after. This area in the EDZ is a good place to practice this tech. Start in the middle where I am, and aim towards the edge of the bowl, and do a strand skate. Once you hit the skate, the moment you touch the ramp, start spamming jump. After you're in the surf, make sure to continue to spam jump. Eventually, you'll get a feel for this, and you won't have to break your controller or spacebar to do it. But keep in mind, if you hit jump too early and start spamming, you won't hit the air surf at all, so timing is really important. You know, most of you have probably already done this before, if you played Destiny 1. If you ever made it on top of the vaults in the tower, you had to do the same thing. In this clip, you can see me spam jump to get on top of the vaults. Input-wise, this is no different than air surfing. Hopefully that cleared up any confusion. Okay, let's talk speed. You need a certain amount of speed to hit the surf. Any skate should be fine as long as you're fast enough. Keep in mind, the distance you go depends on the speed and angle when you start the surf. So, a surf like this one is gonna go way higher because of how steep the angle is. Earlier I mentioned you can air surf with any kind of skate. Here you can see both well and shatter skating work just fine. Sure, both of these skates have some trouble with low ground air surfs, but they excel at hitting a surf from an unexpected place, like the air surf on Morgoth. So, to recap, you need three things to air surf. A skate of some kind, preferably strand skating on Hunter. To spam jump once you hit your targeted slope and an understanding of what can be surfed off of. That can be, honestly, anything once you practice enough. Now that I've cleared up how it works, I'd like to show you some of the more interesting air surfs I've hit.
These are just a few examples of what air surfing can do, and I want to point out that this concept has been around for a while. Barrier surfing is the predecessor to air surfing, a tech that I've not seen anyone talk about, which is why I made this video in the first place. And sure, warlocks can dash into a wall and gain a bunch of height, but there are times when hitting an air surf is the better option. All I'm saying is that this has a place among speed techs, and can be mastered by anyone over time. Just like any form of skating, this can become a new means of travel in Destiny 2. Oh right, I almost forgot to mention what swords are the best for air surfing. So there's two options, either the slammer that you can get from the nightfall when it's in rotation, or the reprised fallen guillotine, which you can get from onslaught. I'd recommend going for Fallen Guillotine, since it's easier to farm right now. I got mine in one game of Onslaught, so it shouldn't be too hard to farm for. This is because I attuned myself to Fallen Guillotine, so it drops more often for me. The reason you want these swords is because they're better for skating and surfing. Their Eager Edge goes a little further and is a bit faster than the other half, and Half Truths. So you don't need a specific role. Just a vortex frame with eager edge. Here's a quick comparison between adaptive and vortex frames. Alright, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment below. I will do my best to respond to it quickly. Thank you all for watching, liking, and subscribing. I hope to see you in the next one.